Alright guys, I'm editing this video and I feel like I gave a close look at these shoes. However, if you guys feel that I missed anything or if you guys want a closer look, feel free to follow me on Instagram and whenever I'm on Instagram Live, which is probably like at least once a day, then you can ask me about them. Yeah, overall I feel like I did a pretty good job showing all these sneakers off. I don't normally do sneaker unboxings. As you guys know, this is primarily a fashion channel where if you are here for the shoes and you are interested in streetwear, feel free to subscribe. Before I even get started, I just want to say real quick, if you guys would like to see a giveaway, I'll either post it Thursday or possibly like early next week, then make sure you smash that like button if this video gets enough love. Let's say if this video gets 3,000 likes, since the last video just killed 2,000 and did that in like less than like two hours, then I will gladly post a giveaway either this Thursday or like really early next week. All right guys, so I spent a lot of money on shoes this summer. And uh, you know, we just got some back to school shoe pickups. The thing with going back to school is you not only need to be stylish, but you also need to be comfortable. But I am unboxing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well actually technically six, I already unboxed one of them, six pairs of new shoes that I acquired. Kind of just all over summertime, but mostly while I was in LA. One of these pairs I actually showed off in an LA pickups video. I got these in San Diego. These are a pair of Y3s that I picked up from You Know Why. I will leave their Instagram down in the description below. I felt like I wanted to incorporate these into this sneaker unboxing just because this is a great back to school shoe right here. Like this thing is so comfortable. It's really lightweight. It's got a mesh upper right here. It's got tons of boost. And I've heard a lot of people say that this boost sole is one of the most comfortable in terms of like cushioning they say it's the best but in terms of overall comfort they rate this the second best and they rate the ultra boost sole the best literally super fresh basically ds i only just tried on for comfort reasons but yeah this thing is definitely comfortable you got the yoji yamamoto branding the little y3 branding right there and the y3 branding on the back as well as on the tongue so i feel like it's the perfect shoe for me to show off since the store is called you know why it's got why all over the tongue if you can't see it, i'll try to insert some b-roll so you can but yes definitely a dope little sneaker y3 definitely one of my favorite brands i love y3 and i think a lot of the stuff that they do is killing it now another shoe that i had to acquire this shoe was just so sick and i'm so excited to get this this is actually a woman's shoe this is my first vapor max so i will give you guys my opinions on the vapor max in the future i'll probably just say on instagram live i'm probably not gonna do like an updated on feet video but I have not actually worn a pair of these for long term. Obviously, I tried them on to see if they fit because I had to get a size 12. This is a woman's shoe, so I had to size up and get a size 12, which I guess is a size 10 equivalent, and I am a size 9.5, so it's a little bit big. I got a little bit of toe room, but other than that, it's not too bad. It fits really nice, and luckily, there's a lot of... Uh, like support on the upper shoe like when you lock this down you tie it it holds your foot in place really well so i don't really have to worry about my foot slipping around or anything like that now the reason i got this shoe the reason i needed this colorway regardless of whether or not it was a men's shoe or not is because i have the most fire outfit and if you do not follow me on instagram change your life go follow me on instagram i'm sure if you do a little bit of investigative research you will figure out exactly why i needed this shoe and what i'll be rocking this shoe with but i will be posting a picture soon a super fire fit with this shoe and I'm excited to do just that. But that shoe was mandatory. The Vapor Max is just so sick. Look at this sick lavender colorway. The way I actually found out about this shoe was from an individual that I saw on Fairfax after the Supreme drop. I saw him wearing them. I was like, yo, those are fire. And then so I did some research, tried to find the colorway, could not find the color for the life of me because I was looking for men's shoes. And sure enough, they were women's shoes, which is why I couldn't find them. They're still sold out in a lot of colors. If you can find them online, I will try to find some links down below underneath my Instagram and you know why's Instagram. And I'll try to find some links. That way you guys can go purchase them if you so choose. Just remember, go two sizes up. Now, another sneaker pickup that a lot of you guys want to know about or that a lot of you guys probably want to see. Maybe you guys even clicked on the video because you saw it. Is the beautiful, undefeated Air Max 97s now these things are absolutely insane i love this shoe i love branding when it's like all the way around like this literally any brand could do this type of branding and i will love it whenever 
a brand does brand like I like branding on stuff, right? I don't mind branding. I don't mind wearing brands that I support. And whenever a brand incorporates their name in a way that is not tacky or overdone, I think it's super fire. So I was really stoked when Undefeated dropped these. I love the Gucci colorway on the white ivory shoe. It's such a clean look. On top of that, if you look at the 97s, it has these little strips going all the way around. These are actually 3M. I'm not sure if the camera will show that off at all, depending on the sunlight. But yeah, these little stripes above the undefeated stripe is all 3M, so I think it's super dope. I would like to see them do something in the future, maybe like a streetwear collab where they do something with all three of these stripes. That might be kind of fire. Dang, I'm a genius. They need to do that, bro. Ooh, even with this little tongue stripe. Oh my goodness. Nike, hire me. Have me design an undefeated Air Max 97. I'm telling you, I would make it so sick. Normally, I'm not a big fan of the 97s, to be honest. I prefer Air Max 90s over Air Max 97s, which I think is kind of weird because most people like 97s more. But I just had to cop this. I thought it was such a fire pickup. And I got some super fire fits coming very soon with this shoe. In terms of quality, uh, there's a couple defects. Like, for example, if you look right here on the side, that mark came like that was just on the shoe so like ds opening the shoe it had a couple marks on it which i thought was kind of disappointing but i mean overall it's a fire shoe i was actually in line to acquire this and the homie i forget his name but he i guess runs undefeated or runs the undefeated stores uh he would not let me cop early he recognized me from youtube but he wouldn't let me cop early and i was really disappointed luckily on the way home when i stayed with some old military buddies uh on the way back from la I was actually able to acquire these online. I got super lucky because they sold out super quick and they didn't even announce the online times. They just randomly dropped it. They were randomly dropping stuff. A lot of people thought they were sold out and then I just kept checking back. I checked at 11 on the dot and boom, they dropped, I cop, and wow, uh, I just uh, spit a little bar for you. Anyways, I got some other pickups while in LA while camping for the first week Supreme drop, I believe. They dropped the, I almost said Supreme, up tempos because I'm thinking of the sub tempos. But anyways, they dropped the up tempos, the Nike up tempo tri colors. I think this is super sick. I really wanted to support this shoe because I hope they do more designs like this where they separate or color block on the shoe like this. I think that's super sick. It's a really dope concept. It's a really dope way to, I guess, implement. Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a dope way to like change up the shoe a little bit. So I, I definitely wanted to cop this. The tricolor is so fire. Just look at that. I've actually been wearing this with the all black Nike tech fleece that I got from Culture Kings and just, oh, it's such a clean look. So many people just recognize the shoe and they're just like, oh my God, those shoes are sick. And then a lot of people are like, what? You're not wearing Adidas? Surprisingly guys, this might be one of the first unboxings where I'm showing off a lot more Nike than Adidas. Literally almost everything in this unboxing is from Nike. Anyways, next up we have yet another pair of Nikes. This is an older pair. I posted a picture where I was wearing these on my Instagram and a lot of people were asking what these are. These are the neck face blazers. They are half a size small. Eventually, maybe I'll end up selling them. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I wanna get a couple more fit pictures in them, but I mean, I don't know. These are just so sick. I got them because I was like, whatever, I'll just squeeze my toes in them. But low key, if I wear them for long periods of time, it's just, uh, it's kind of painful, but they are so sick. Look at them. If you're not familiar with who Neckface is, he's a graffiti artist. I don't remember where he's from. He's from somewhere in California, but he has done stuff with like Thrasher and stuff like that in the past. Super, super dope. I got these from Project Blitz and they hooked it up. Low key, I bought these for like, like 80 or 90 bucks. That's a super good deal for these. So I was super excited to get these in hand. I love Blazers. Blazers is by far one of my favorite shoe silhouettes. And uh, that's just such a clean shoe. So I'm glad to have it in my collection. Oh, by the way, uh, this shoe I already unboxed. I have another shoe that I need to unbox, which is by far my favorite of all of them. This shoe I already unboxed, I haven't worn this, but this is an example of clean branding. I love this. Vans, I need to see more shoes like this. So brands, if you are watching this, Please collab with Vans and do some more old schools or authentics or preferably for me personally, skate highs with this around the midsole, okay? Okay, thank you. I just wanted to show this off in this video because to be honest, if you did not see the video where I showed these off, I just, man, this is such a sick collab. Look at that, this is the Stussy Vans collab. Such a clean shoe, man. Once again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. I've had these for a while and I've thought about raffling them, but then I'm like, damn, I just, those are so sexy. Gonna put those on my feet and make it look sexy. Okay, so. Last little unboxing, take out the black blade. I'm kind of in a hurry because my homies are currently down the street grabbing some food and I'm trying to hurry up so I can go meet them and uh, you know, just grab some food with them. Okay, this is a stupid box, yo. This is gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna destroy this box too. What's up with all this paper? What's, is this a box in a box? Is this like box inception? Dude, what kind of box is this? 
I literally just use it as a hammer to cut the tape because this box is weird. Like, you can't cut at the seam of the box. Like, there's just like. Do you see this box? What is this? This is like a homemade box. This is like a box that was like broke down and then he like taped together to make a. Bro, get a box. Maybe he just did that because it's a really tight fit and they don't make any box this exact size. Like, literally, look at this stuff. I don't want to get demonetized. Anyways, look at that, bro. That's like the. Bro, just next time, just send it in a normal box. Bro. Jesus. All right. So last but not least, we have the beautiful Converse Neighborhood Collab. Now you guys might be saying, Jacob, you already showed these off. No, I didn't. You guys saw me open that box. Looky Lou. I really cannot believe I just said Looky Lou. We got two pairs, baby. Anytime I love something, anytime I fall in love with something, I just, I need to get a second pair. This is such a legendary shoe. This is my favorite shoe in my collection, so I just needed a second pair. The Converse One Stars, it's, first of all, it's a dope silhouette, but I normally do not like the star branding unless something is like done to make it a little bit more subtle, which I think this does just that. I think this is a lot cleaner. And the One Star is just such a legendary shoe. Being from Washington, if you're not familiar with Nirvana, which is legendary, by the way, if you're not familiar with Nirvana, change your life, go check out Nirvana. But anyways, when uh, Kurt Cobain um, passed away, when he died, he was actually wearing some Converse One Stars. A lot of people speculate on what the shoes are. Bro, they were One Stars, change your life. Stop speculating, look it up. But yes, these are all the shoes that I acquired uh, basically for like back to school. If you wanna see how I style, a lot of these are for my personal collection, so make sure you follow me on personal Instagram, which has been somewhere on the screen this entire time. I'm gonna take some fire photos in all of these shoes and show them off on there. The focus of a lot of these shoes is comfort. A lot of these shoes are comfortable shoes, they're nice shoes, and they're just they're just clean, you know? The Vapor Max, the Y3s, the Air Maxes, those are all comfortable shoes, which is perfect for back to school, because when you're at school, you just want to be comfortable, you know? Whenever I go to school, I'm always just wearing sweatpants, a hoodie, and some nice, clean shoes to go with that fit. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think of these shoes. Let me know which one's your favorite down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, keep living the star life. I don't have anything to throw at the camera to make, like, a cool little outro, so I'm going to have to stand up and say peace! You see? So that way I can make it fade to black and not just randomly cut the clip. I don't know. Anyways. If the chase get behind me, man, I'm fence hopping. Been on the block since I was bitch, I'm still my.